whenever we have a pressure drop in a hydraulic system without useful work being performed, we, we get a heat load or that energy's uh, turned into heat. So if we consider a uh, hydraulic motor, shaft rotating. So we've got, uh, this is pressure in, uh, pressure out. So there's, a, there's what we call a pressure drop across that motor. We've got high pressure here, low pressure there. We've got a pressure drop across the motor, but that pressure drop has created useful work by rotating the motor shaft and creating torque to drive a load. We, also, we can also get a pressure drop, uh, for example, uh, across a uh, relief valve. So same deal. We've got oil flowing from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure, but significantly without any useful work being done. So this pressure drop is total heat load on the hydraulic system. And I suppose to just illustrate it one step further, we get the same concept at least partially happening in most hydraulic components because we've got a case drain here. And we've also, as well as this pressure drop, which is obviously doing useful work, there's a percentage of pressure drop here from high pressure to case drain, which is obviously not creating useful work, so that's heat load. And the, uh, when, I, when I say uh, check abnormal heat load, one of the easiest ways to th do that is with a infrared thermometer, which is absolutely a fantastic tool if you have anything to do with hydraulic equipment. I never leave home without it. Because um, when you understand that concept, uh, if you had a system that was overheating, it's very easy just to go around, check your components. In the case of the relief valve, uh, if that was passing, it would probably, you'd see a noticeable temperature difference. Well, that component would be noticeable, noticeably hotter than other components in the system. And the other nifty thing you can do um, with your heat gun or your infrared thermometer, uh, provided that you know the design flow rate through the cooler, you can do a quick check uh, to get some clues on why your hydraulic system might be overheating. Hi, I'm Mark Perry from Fitzsimmons Hydraulics in Buffalo, New York. I recently attended a uh, workshop that Brendan put on in Cleveland and I found it very informative. Um, after 20 plus years in this business, I was amazed at the number of hints, tips, pointers that uh, I gleaned from the presentation that you would think would be common knowledge, but it's amazing how often you overlook the, uh, the obvious. Um, I think if you attend, you'll learn a lot that will help you uh, decrease your costs and increase your uh, machine uptimes. I'd recommend it to anybody.